Uh, hi guys, Vitek here um, at Envitronics. Uh, just a quick follow up uh, to my uh, previous video when I show the uh, rotor filled with uh, with water and rotating in electrostatic uh, field. Um, when I when I play with it and I uh, try to see if this can be uh, made better in order to achieve the higher uh, speeds uh, I just noticed interesting something cute and uh, I just wanted to show you it's not really very significant it just shows the penetration and uh, movement of potential in highly charged electrostatic fields uh, it's a similar setup except I have one comb fed from uh, negative high voltage output uh, set about six inches away from uh, from that uh, vessel and uh, I am not connected to anything I am just merely uh, sitting in this negatively charged um, field and acting as um, as uh, uh, second comp I'm holding my hand uh, probably about eight of an inch from the glass, not very precise. Let's see what is happening now. I try to run some experiments with um, with different dielectric rotors. They were working, um, but I had uh, issues uh, with um, getting higher uh, speed, um, mainly because these bearings they they need to be frictionless, like a jewel type uh, bearing. Um, I, I made another rotor which was uh, probably five pounds in diameter and I I got it to rotate about 30-40 rpm but that's not that's not really uh, it's not gonna do anything uh, uh, perhaps the design by um, Professor Oleg uh, Ifemenko with uh, the blades uh, that could be something uh, worth replicating and uh, uh, getting higher um, higher RPM as uh, he was able to achieve uh, over uh, 10,000 RPM um, and that was um, the electrostatic charge uh, obtained from the environment not being fed uh, by artificial source the way I am doing. Anyway, I just thought I'll, I'll share it with you and I guess it's not something James Bond would be interested in it because he prefer shake and not stir but anyway, thank you for watching.